Hey, what's up? It's Millionaire Hoy, and today we are going to work those arms, get our gun show on with this total body 60 minute beginner's upper body workout. All right, so we're going to bring it today using dumbbells. We're going to use light and mediums, and then we're also going to use a yoga mat for the final exercise and also for the stretch. So go ahead and put a big old bright juicy smile on your face, get a quick sip of water. Let's go ahead and warm up through the upper body and get ready to get into this workout. First thing we're gonna do is hug and love raises. So go ahead and swing those arms across and bring it up. Kicking those feet out left and right. And breathing it out. Yeah, good. Hug and love and appreciate that beautiful body of yours at the same time. Warming up. So two-fold process. Good, keep that core tight, kick it out and bring it. Building that upper body strength, building that heat up right now. Great, let's go into windmills, right into the shoulders. Swinging those arms forward. Halfway through, we're gonna go ahead and reverse and go in the opposite direction. Nice and smooth. Knees are slightly bent here, bring both arms down, and we're going to reverse, bringing it back. Good, swing into it. You're gonna feel that heat build up here. Great, from here, we're gonna go into side reaches. So reach over and bring it in. Other side, over. Good, straight into those obliques, lats. <sighs> Shoulders, core, over, and reach. Good. Get in there nice and deep. Over. Bring it up. Shake it out. And from here, we're going to go into trunk twist. So, both hands forward. Reach back with the left. Look towards the back of the room. Bring that forward. Twist through that spine. Good, so as you can see, we're going through all planes of motion here as we stretch through that upper body. And in, over, reach back, twist. Stretch into your shoulders, your chest, your back. One more. And bring it out to modify push up. If you have a kneeling pad, go ahead and grab that. We can have our hands right on our shoulders, solid spine here as we come down and up. Inhale down. Exhale up, building that strength here. Come on, and down. Yeah, breathe it out. Good. Fingertips are spread. Give me a few more. Control yourself down. Bring it up. Great. We're gonna step into a wrist stretch. Bring your knees in just a little bit more so you have the balance. And if your palms are off the floor, that's perfectly fine. If you're more flexible in your wrist and you can bring them all the way down, we're stretching through our wrist here and our bicep. Breathe it out, sink into it as you breathe. Excellent, come out of that nice and slowly. A Little bit of a shake there and let's go into pot stirs. Right arm is down, left arm is swinging. Going either clockwise or counterclockwise is up to you. And then we're gonna switch directions halfway through. Just swing it in there, good. Go ahead and stop, reverse the direction, same arm. Swing it through. Excellent, go ahead and stop, switch to the other arm. Left elbow is down, right arm is swinging. Any direction is fine. Like a rag doll, just swing into it. A few more seconds. Go ahead and stop, other direction, and swing. Almost done with this warm up. Ah, good, swing it up. We got 30 seconds and then we're going right into this workout. So we have a total of 49 different exercises, 40 seconds of work and um, 20 seconds of rest. All right, our last exercise, we're gonna go for a full minute. If you have a kneeling pad, go ahead and grab it because we will be on our knees for um, several of these exercises if you don't have a padded floor. I um, guess I'll just place mine here. 
Great, so grab your dumbbells. We're going to go into double twist curls. So you're going to hold it as a hammer, and we're going to squeeze up and release down. Squeeze it up. Good. So going horizontal as we squeeze, lower, back to vertical. Going from a curl, standard, to a hammer curl. Let's add a little bit of speed here. Good. Squeeze from the bicep each time. And up. Control it down. Breathe it out. And down. And down. Breathe it out. From here, we can go into hand release push ups. Now, we're going to start off on our knees. Next time, if you want to go ahead and add a little bit more to this exercise, you can um, do it off of your knees. But what we're going to do here, we're going to come down all the way to your chest. We're going to have our hands come up and press. Control down. Up and press. So squeeze them through the back. Nice wide push up here. Hands come off the floor and push you up. Bring it down. Up. Whew. Learn to move now. Next round, we will be going off the knees. And up. Push all the way up. Full extension. Good. And down. Great way to build up to push ups. Let's go. Very important control on the way down. One more up. Yeah. And walk it through. From here, we're going to bring it down to the floor grab and medium weight. We're going for dumbbell chest press. Come down nice and safely. Yoga mat if you have it. Grab those weights. Wide in front of chest. We're going to exhale, bring them close without clanking them together. And squeeze. As soon as those triceps come down towards the mat, control it up and down. Squeeze from that chest. Good. And up. Hold on tight to that weight. And squeeze. Down. Come on, let's bring it. Yeah. There we go. I kind of poke my lips out when I really exhale. That's how I know I'm in it. Great. We're going to go into skull crushers from there. So grab lighter dumbbells. I'm going to go to my lights. Make your way back down to the floor. And we're going to bring it up into those triceps. So the back of the arm. Elbow is going to be up. Stay in place. And we're going to kick these bad boys up. So arms up. Bring it down. Hold on tight to those weights. Really clench. And up. Good. You're not putting the pressure in your elbow. You're putting the pressure in the back of your arms. Controlling it down. Slowly. Load. Explode up quicker. And down. To modify, take both hands, place them on the side of one dumbbell, and control it up and down as you see in the modifications. Bring it down. Good. Control on the way down for those triceps. And up. Safety first, hold on tight to those dumbbells. We got time for one more. Great, now, we made it through the first double set of four. And we're gonna go into our next four moves. We're gonna start off with in and out fly. So you can do this with one or two dumbbells. To modify, hold one dumbbell, bring it forward, over to the side. Otherwise, grab two. We're gonna come to the side, out for a T. Bring it down to the front, up. Knees are bent here, control it. See how I'm coming down slowly? Squeeze, great. Whew. Coming up a little bit higher than shoulder level. Up and down. Even on both sides. Ab locked in for control there. Bring it down, come on. Into the front. One more to the side. Next time, we're going to start from the front first. All right, so we're going to go for ISO rotations, left arm only. So, so play on words. We're going to do um, rotation rolls, hands on the knee. We're going to come up and rotate over, squeezing through our back, bringing it up and down, all right, like a power lawnmower. 
So your arms down, abs are locked in, up. Rotate, good. In up. Squeeze them through their back. Left arm only, come on. Getting in some ab work here too. Up, control down slowly. Good. Legs in locked in place. That left leg is just a little bit further back behind that right. Yeah, let's go down. Can't you feel that burn in your back? Come on, bringing it up. One more. Up and breathe. Iso rotations on the right side. Now, to modify, you can go to a standard lawnmower. All right, otherwise, we're gonna have our left leg in front, right leg slightly back, not as far as back as a lawnmower, about halfway there. Hands down on your thigh. I'm gonna bring it up, row, control it down. Good, back comes up, twist. Look up towards the sky and down. Good. Knees are bent. Yeah. Breathe it out. Rip through those abs. Come on. Body feels great. And up. Down. Hold on tight to that weight. Can't stress enough the importance of building that wrist strength and forearm strength. Or grip strength. And down. Breathe it out. Half and half push-ups. Two modified to two standard push-ups here. Or whole plank for that two second count. But I want you to really start practicing doing standard push-ups if you can. Listen to your body, you might surprise yourself, all right? So let's go ahead and go down. Two modified push-ups. Good, solid plank, we're coming down. And up, down, and up. Hold the plank, give me one or give me two. Up, and up, down to your knees. Let's go, push, and up, down, squeeze, let's go, control it, come on, give me those push-ups, I know they burn, squeeze from your chest, good, My muscle connection there, one more, down, and up. Shake it out. We're going to go for in and out curls. Two ways to do this. Standard, but to modify, you can bring it up, hammer, to the side, hammer. Or you can go to one time, hammer, hammer, side, side. Good. Let's bring it up. Squeeze it up. Standard. Arm to the side, and up. Squeeze, and down, to the front, up. Down and by your side. Come on. Bicep city. Into the front. Quick form check. Neck is in neutral position. Shoulders are relaxed. Squeezing from those biceps. Controlling down as well. Knees are slightly bent here. And chest is upright. Let's go. Over. And down. Up. One more to the side. Out. Good. Feeling that burn. And breathe. Great, lawnmowers, left arm only. Now this time, let's try to take it up a notch and grab a medium dumbbell. Previously, we used lights. Now if you still need to use light, go ahead, challenge yourself, try to do a few mediums and then revert back to light weights. Once you get that burn, let's bring it up and down slowly. In up, control it down. Good. Each week we're gonna to continue to challenge ourselves to break through our plateaus and barriers, but still making the exercises accessible so that we can crush our goals. This is how you build towards the goals that you have. You start at where you are, but constantly challenge yourself. And down, up. Lawn mowers, right arm only. Make sure the elbow is going straight up. We're going to lock in those abs with our back as we come up and down. Grab that medium weight. A 
Let's go. Squeeze it up. And down. Let's go. Yeah. Squeeze from that back. Control it down and up. Let's go. Yeah. One more. Yeah. Great. From here, we're going to alternating grip chest press. So grab your dumbbells. Also going to grab some lights. We got some skull crushes coming up as well. Make your way down to your floor and mat. We're going to start off with a hammer chest press. Good. So bring it up, straight up, and down. Good. Out, up, and in. Squeeze. Control it. Come on. Nice and wide. Up. Sneaking in some shoulder work here. As we work from that chest, good, control, open, press it up, and down. Picking a weight of your choice, you're really going to feel this here. Squeeze, come on, it's about that chest life right now. And down, great, from here, try, stop, tries. All right, so we're going a three-way tricep. Skull crusher. So here's a modification. We're going to go one, two, three, and up. Three, two, one. Otherwise, grab two dumbbells. Hands are up. We're going one, two, three, and up. Three, two, one. Hold on tight. Diagonal. 90. Down. 90. Diagonal. Up. <sighs> Two, three, up, three. Keep that up one place. Two, one. Woo, felt it on that three there. Going down. Three, up, three, two, one. Good. Down, two, three. Bring it all the way up. Good job. When you're going to high pull curls, using our light dumbbells here. Quick clean up. A little workout in and of itself. Good. Give me that curl up to the front. Squeeze. Down. Turn. Up. Pull. Good. Working through that back. We're not neglecting that back today. Come on. Down. And up. Back to the front. Squeeze. Down. Over. Up. Control. In, in. Want some good news? We're more than halfway through with this workout at this point. You know you got some momentum to keep on pushing. Good, let's squeeze it back. Making ourselves stronger so the next time we come back, we'll be even more prepared. Great, lot more press. Left arm. Great, you know what? Let's try mediums. So medium or lightweight, we're going to bring it down, bring it up. <sighs> Give me a hammer press. In down. Good. Squeeze through the back. Come on, we got this. In up. Some of you all who are switching up and using a little bit of a heavier weight, sometimes it's very, very, like a very great feeling of relief. When you say, oh my God, I couldn't do this before. Now I can. And if you can't make it there just yet, say, man, this is something to work towards. And your brain's going to burst in excitement when you're able to complete the movement. Adding more resistance. All right, we're going to go to left to right push-ups. Everybody's going to be on your knees. So get a kneeling pad if you have one. Whew. And we're going left to right. So we're going to start off with our right hand in the middle. Got to find the right direction here. 
right hands in the middle, hands over towards the left, bring it up, and over, down, squeeze, push, let's go, all the way down, inhale, exhale, full extension up, then step it over, halfway through, let's add some speed, come on, over, hustle, down, squeeze, and over, woo, feeling that fire burning up, Building up that strength. You want to hear some good news? This is kind of half of a burpee. The push-up part. Good. And down. Long more press. If you can, we're going to use medium weight as well, as we did on the other side. So grab that dumbbell. Hold on tight. Good long more. Hammer press up. Left elbow is down. Come on, we got this. Power through. Bring it up. Down, step forward, press, and down, let's go, yeah, and up, right back down with it, let's go, up, squeeze, ripping through the back, up and through the shoulders, talk about working those arms, here we go. One more. Down. Up. Give me that press. Control it down. Way to go. Way to push. Stacked push-ups. I'm actually going to show you from the front. Come on. We got a few more exercises to go, people. Hands under your shoulders, solid plank. We're going to come down, left, right, left, right, and down, right, left, right, and left. Let's go. Breathe it out. Down. We're coming up on the final rounds. These are the championship rounds. I know the upper body is feeling it right now, but push through and do your absolute best. Let's go. Locking those abs, getting that core work here as well. Down, down, up, and up. Come on. And breathe. Good. Now, if you don't have a yoga mat out, get your mat out. We're going to go for floor T-Y raises. So we're going to have our elbows up. Bring your stomach down. You can leave your feet on the floor or have your elbows, um, your feet up. We're going to come up and hold. Bring your hands to the front. Down. Come up. In out. Down. Up. And forward. Down. Up. Good. Feet are up. Thumbs are up. Back is flexed. And down. Bring it up. I know we're feeling this. To the front. Hold. Down. Building up that back strength as well. Yeah. To the side. Come on. And down. Up. Thumbs up. So you know what's good. Good. Squeeze. Out to the side and down. Way to go. Hard part is over. You have 35 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and go into our stretch. Never skip in the stretch because the last thing you want is to wake up tomorrow and have aches and pains all in your back, your chest, your shoulders, and you can't move around at all. All right, so let's take care of ourselves while the muscles, joints, and everything are nice and limber. Let's go ahead and lengthen them, build into some mobility, reduce the risk of soreness and injury. So we got a few more seconds. We're going to go ahead and kick off our stretch with hugs and loves. Congratulations on making it through another upper body day. I know a lot of us struggle with that, so kick those feet out, left and right. Hug and love. Appreciate our bodies as we constantly improve, work to improve the bodies that we love. Ooh, got to watch out for that. Good. And forward, windmills. Swing those arms nice and slow. Because I know those shoulders are on fire. 
stop, bring it back. Good, swim backwards. Stay centered, no, no twisting side to side. Arms are moving. Good, trunk twist. We're gonna push back and bring it to the forward. Palms, reach back, push in the back of the room. Stretching through our wrist here, through our bicep, through our shoulders and chest. Good. One more. And up, forward rocks. Good, a little bit wider on our stance. Push your butt back, inhale up. Exhale down, locking those arms, and rock through that spine, left and right, relaxing here through the upper body while the legs are straight. Good, hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Let's go into cat cow, inhale up. Exhale down. Head down, butt down, inhale up. Exhale down. And up. Excellent, from here, feet together, knees are wide. Let's go into a child's pose. Hands are reaching forward. Armpits are coming down and towards the ground. Breathing it out here. Excellent, from here, we're gonna go for a side stretch on the left, left hand over, right hand follows, hips are back and towards the right. Find that tension there and sink into it. Ah, give your body a good massage after working so dang on hard today. Way to push through. Let's go to the other side, both hands to the center. Right hand towards the right, left hand follows, hips are back and towards the left. Sink into it nice and beautifully taking care of our body here, our bodies. <sighs> Breathe into it, it feels great. Excellent, both hands to the front. We're gonna go ahead and go to a wrist stretch. So go ahead and reverse your wrist here. Bring it down. This may be more flexible, so if your palms come down, it's totally fine. Great. Bring it up, wrist to the side of your mat, and we're just going ahead and go left and right here, shifting, stretching through our wrists, building up full flexibility right along with the strength that we have here. Great. From here, we're going to bring our hands forward. Keep your knees in the same position. We're gonna bring our butt up, point it towards the sky, arching through our back, reaching forward like you're stretching in the morning, or like you see a dog stretch, AKA puppy pose. And we're gonna heart, melt our heart down to our mat. Good. Come up to a seating position. We're gonna go for a shoulder stretch. So. We're just gonna bring our left shoulder over towards our right. You can do this either standing or sitting. Turn it over. Arms up, touch the tag of your shirt, grab, pull it down. Go into our triceps. Great, now we're going up. Let right arm over towards our left. Lock in with the left underarm. <laughs> left underarm, left elbow. My body's all tangled up, it's hard to tell right now. Now release, arm is up, touch the tag of your shirt, pull it over, good, and to the side. Keep your chest upright as you do this, don't hunch forward, release. Bring it up into a pot stir. So our right arm is coming down, I'm sorry, our left arm is coming down, and we're starting. Sometimes towards the end of the workout, it's hard for me to mirror because my brain is all over the place. So this actually is my right, but it's your left. Let's go ahead and go the opposite direction. Good, other side. So bring your right arm down and switch. I get so confused in my regular day-to-day -day life, I get my right and left mixed up all the time because I'm so used to mirroring doing the workouts. Let's go in the opposite direction. I'll tell my kids, like, go to the left, and they would be like, you're the left, Dad? <laughs> all right, so bring it up. We're gonna go for a front stretch, bring those palms together, we're almost there. We're trying to make our shoulders touch in the front, squeezing from our chest, stretching through our back here. 
I'm um, getting almost 100 back there. Putting it in. And we're gonna go ahead for the grand finale. Grab at your lower spine or lower back and we're gonna pull down with clasped hands. Shoulders are trying to touch behind here. Really squeezing through our back and stretching through our shoulders and our chest here as we pull those arms down, bringing those palms together. We got a few more seconds. We're gonna make our way to the screen. Get this fist bump that you most certainly earned and boom! Fist bump, way to rock it, people. Excellent, excellent, excellent job working upper body. I know that's a phobia for a lot of people. When we say arms, when we say push-ups, when we say press, when we say curls, it's like, oh my God, my arms aren't that strong. But you have to work from where you are to get to where you need to go. And you're getting stronger week by week. So way to bring it. Speaking of bringing it, when you bring it to the kitchen, make sure you eat some healthy food today. Drink lots and lots of water. And we're gonna go ahead and continue to push as we get our goals going forward and forward. Okay, so I'll see you all tomorrow when we come back to get some more butt. Until then, it's your boy Megan Elhoy. Take care and peace out.